Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes, you will see some short examples of the Solid Edge ST2 update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the synchronous sheet metal training and covers the use of the flange command. The flange command also works in an object action mode and only becomes available after selecting a thickness face. As such there is no specific flange command. Returning to our example model, we'll select this thickness face. This will cause a special sheet metal steering wheel to appear and the quick bar will change to the move mode. Selecting the larger primary axis will allow the thickness face to be moved as shown. Alternatively, selecting the smaller handle that is vertical to the thickness face, the quick bar will change and offer flange options, as well as start a dynamic mode for pulling the flange up or down. During this dynamic mode, the flange height and angle fields are active and available to type values into. We can toggle between the two fields by using the tab key. We'll click to create this flange. Looking in the pathfinder, we can see that a flange feature has been created. If required, multiple thickness faces can be selected at the same time. This allows multiple flanges to be created together, as shown here as we pick these four edges. We'll repeat this process again and pick another four edges. When creating multiple adjacent flanges at once, the bend order is calculated according to size where shorter sides are folded before longer sides. Also there are multiple flange features created in the Pathfinder, one for each physical flange on the model. The quick bar contains the usual options for the flange length measurement. The material location, such as inside, outside, or bend outside. There is a partial flange option as well as various key point locate settings. Hitting the options button brings up the flange options dialog with all the settings for bend relief and corner relief. Note that these need to be set accordingly at the time the feature is created as they cannot be changed afterwards without deleting the flange and recreating. This is with the exception of the global material parameters which can be changed at any time. When the partial flange option is set, the point at which the thickness edge was selected is used as the starting edge for the flange. The partial flange width is equal to one third of the total length of the selected face. Again, the length and angle fields are present during its creation. Note that non-linear thickness faces, such as bends, are not allowed for the flange command, and there is no local profile generated for a flange like there is in traditional modeling.